Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bringing Back the Glory on Football Manager 2020 with Aberdeen. I know most of you are probably familiar with a Killy pie. Well today I'm bringing you the Killy sandwich with the Killy game in the middle between two games against Wolfsburg in the Europa League semi-final. Huge. And yes, I know my hair's an outrage. I'm completely self-aware. Don't worry about it. Great chance. Cooper must make it four. He does. Oh. I think I would have to say no that this is the greatest team that Aberdeen have ever had. Aberdeen have definitely won the championship. Aberdeen with McGee making the break, and Hewitt waiting in the middle! We've not played any game since you last saw, so let's jump straight into things. Montipo's in goals, Cruz Figal comes in, uh, Miazga can't be in the squad, and Portis is also suspended. Who's shocked? Not me. McKenna, Hickey, McCrory, Ferguson, proper. Consensau and Bardi, he comes back in on the other side, and then Armando up top. We've got Maishido, the ginger legend, Stuart Finlay, Connor Barron, the Basque general, Ryan Fraser, Abu Francis, and Ryan Edmondson ready to go for the bench. I'm up for it. We're in the semi-final of the Euro League. Will we add another star to the badge? Let's find out, shall we? I say that as if this is actually the final. It's not the final, it's the semi-final, but we're with a chance, alright? But the Wolfsburg team hoping to ruin those dreams is Sherpin, Latomba, Buellens is a region, Utokai, Pedersen, Kamara, So, Gerhardt, Omer, Morgan Rogers, I think his name is, is it? Yes, and Adam Ola Lukman. That's just the two that I recognise from that team, Rogers and Lukman. I'm quite scared. They're probably pretty decent. They knocked out Chelsea after all. The first leg of the Europa League semi final is underway in Germany. The other game is Ajax versus Benfica. You know, it's just all of the European giants, really, isn't it? Um, mainly us. Let's be honest. McKenna's in the book, who's shocked, and there's a highlight. Montipo. He keeps the ball, that is the main thing. That's a good start, lads. Uh, it's with Vigal now, all the way back to Montipo once again. Don't mess it up now. We keep it. Bardi Key inside to Ferguson. Can we build something again? Early away goal. Lewis Ferguson shoots wide. High wide and not at all handsome, let's be honest. It's now with Proper, though, not long after. 20 minutes on the clock. Bardi Key on the left hand side is experienced. Can he use his experience now? Ferguson does not use experience and gives it away. And Morgan Rogers gets turned up against Figal. And oh, I thought he hit the bar, hit the side netting apparently. Latomba well, again now. It's thick and fast this game so far. Let's be honest. It's so now. Not Osman so. So who knows? Ronaldo Camara. Thankfully not Cristiano or the. Woo, R9 Ronaldo. I mean, he's very old now. Probably wouldn't be too much of a problem. Having said that, we've seen what some experienced strikers can do. Uh, mainly Milan Baros. Oh, that's a throwback and a half. The mighty Milan Baros. What a man. McKenna now. It's with Hickey now. He's, I'm saying now, 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 non-stop. We've given it away though. Gert Hearts now. Don't concede in the first half. Rogers, great save by Montipo. They've still got it though. And it's... Pipped around the post by Montipo, superb goalkeeper. What a signing he's been, by the way. Abdul Kadir, I think that's his name, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Bardi Key now, can't imagine he's watching, but um, people might be who know what his name is. Uh, he's a fan of the show, let's be honest, you know. Big up yourself, Callum. Yeah, he puts it in, and they've headed wide. This is quite scary stuff, it's very, very close. Oh, I say it's close, look at the statistics, they're absolutely all over us like a rash. And they have another chance. They're getting in behind very, very easily. I need to drop the defence back deeper, because this is not working. Such a high defensive line. Drop it slightly deeper for now. We'll see how that goes. Multiple collects though. Is this the end of the highlight? It is the end of the highlight. As we go towards half time, let's take it nil nil. Take it nil nil. Nil nil. Nil nil. Nil nil. That's fine. Nil nil. Boring. Underway in the second half. Contessau's book. That's what we love to see. Get in amongst them. Oh god. Please can we score? That'd be good. An away goal would be nice. Contessau, don't give it away, whatever you do. Go on, Franny. Um, yep, yep, he's giving it away, and of course, Felipe Cruz is bombing our forward ahead of him because that's what he does. But they've given it away as well. Hickey cuts out. It's Dirk Proper. Armando playing the last man in the last man last line of the defence. That's what I'm trying to say. Felipe Cruz now in. Put it across. They clear, and are they going to come at us now? Bloody hell! It's like a box to fight. It's Ali versus Fraser. It's not. It's Wolfsburg versus Aberdeen, but it's basically the same thing. The clash of the titans. And they have scored. Morgan Rogers got a touch on it. If we can get an away goal, then we're with a chance here. Let's get one, please, Dons. Oh, that's so frustrating. I thought we were going to get the chance there. But no, no. Abdul Kadir, that's it. I've nailed it now. Skipped by Aaron Hickey, maybe, I think it is. And that's a good finish by uh, Rogers. Montipo, not much of a chance. 
Um, still a long way to go though, we've got a chance here, let's demand some more, shall we? That usually just gets them up for it, doesn't it? Um, ho ho, here we go, an hour played, Felipe Cruz, don't give it away... Brilliant, thanks for that Ross McCrory, well done, uh, and he's, he's, abs he's getting in behind every single time, this is an absolute disaster, we have to drop a bit more deeper even still I feel, maybe press higher a bit but drop the defence a bit deeper because it's not working for us, we're going to make a couple changes in a minute too after this highlight, Felipe Cruz with Dirk Proper now, it's big Ross McCrory, he keeps the ball this time, that's a good start isn't it, Armando in behind, finish it, you've got to bloody finish those chances, we paid 13 million quid for you or whatever it was. You've got to bury them, mate. I'm not paying 13 quid. Uh, uh, uh. Bardi Key hasn't impressed me much lately, so Ryan Fraser comes on and Armando goes off for Edmonton after missing that chance. Can't be having that. We've got to take them. 20 minutes to go. Will we see anything? McCrory having a stinker as well. Barron on the bench. He comes on. We've got a bit more direct of their passing. I don't want to go for it too much because... With just one goal behind, we're in with a chance still. But there's a highlight. Connor Barron. It's with Scott McKenna. He gives it away, but proper collects it. Ferguson now. He looks absolutely huge. <laughs> the not-so-huge Ryan Fraser skips by one, shoots... Miles over the bar and miles wide, just what you want. Carews again with a set piece. He goes long. It's with Ferguson now. Back to Scott McKenna on the in the book as well. It's headed down by Edmonton for Contessau. Please, a moment of magic. A moment of magic indeed. And away goal. 1-1. Contessau. Some dodgy goalkeeping and assist for Ryan Edmonton. What an impact that is. Okay, let's just keep it like this, please, Dons. Even if we lose 2-1 now, now we've got the away goal. It's not bad at all. Consisau, he's we scored a great goal in the last episode, as you all saw, and uh, that wasn't so good, but it was sort of similar from the similar area with his left foot. The keeper just didn't stand a chance. But there's a highlight once again now. They come back at us. Gerhards. No, Connor Barron wins it. He couldn't uh, get a toe on the ball last... Uh, in a Two games ago against Diana's eye, but he did there, and it's a good save by their goalkeeper. With another corner now, we go again. It's action packed. I'm up for it, and McKenna collects it. Does he? He does. Get it back down. Okay, inside. That's fine. Contessau now. Go on with your right foot this time, mate, or not? Hickey. It's in with Ryan Fraser. The highlight's still not done. Fire it across, Ryan. Fire it across, Ryan. He does. And no, oh no, they come again. That is a name I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Haksan Banovic. Uh, I just tried to pronounce it after saying I wasn't going to. That was a lie. But Conor Barron took him out. He did what needed to be done. We're in added time now. If we can get away with... Oh, no. And away go. And a draw. They've headed over. This is not looking so bad at all. But it still goes on. Oh, my word. It's Montipo. He's gone long for Ryan Fraser. Who's... Hickey's wide open on the left-hand side. Find him. He does. Down the line again, please, Aaron. Skips by. Inside, though. That's not good. We wanted to keep the ball there. You had a man up open ahead of you. And this man with a funny name. He goes through. It's not funny, but he shoots wide. I just couldn't say it. And brief, we come away, 1-1, and away goal, that is huge, onto Kilmarnock, we could win the league. Okay, straight into the game against Kilmarnock, the only change is, Dean Campbell comes in for Ferguson, give him a bit of rest ahead of the next game, and Fraser comes in for Bardi Key, I've not been impressed with Bardi Key at all. Let's do this, we can win the league today, Celtic play Rangers, it's up for grabs folks. The killy meat in the killy sandwich is Sander Clark, Smith, Sloan, Burns, Folds, he played pretty well against us last time. Toffinen, Gibb. Toffinen's got a funny photo, actually. Look at him. Yeah, what a guy. Uh, Umakwe, Aitchison, Kilty, and Russ. Don't know who Russ is. But I do know I'm going to regret saying that and singling him out. Brilliant. Can't wait. We are underway at Rugby Pog. As you see, I said, met, said it before, Rangers versus Celtic. And we've got a highlight straight away, it looks like. Uh, I'm hoping Rangers do us a favour. They wouldn't like to, but I'm hoping they do. Ross McCrory fires one at the top corner. So far, we're doing our bit. Here's hoping Rangers can help him out and get the win and we can just seal it off today. What a hit that was from big Ross McCrory. His third goal for us, I think, seventh goal of the season and a Scott McKenna assist. What a ball inside the part of that was and he found the top corner, did Ross. Woo! 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 Over half an hour played now. We've not seen anything else as we head towards half time. It's still nil nil between Rangers and Celtic, and that suits us. If we hold on and it stays like that, that's absolutely fine by me. As we get in at half time, one nil up. 
very much deserved. Let's add to it, Dons. Add to it. Let's not rest on our laurels at Derek McInnes. Second half underway. The first highlight. It's Xander Clark. He gives the ball away to Felipe Cruz on a yellow once again. He absolutely loves kicking people. Ross McCrory now. Yes, please. We made Adnan Yanis I, Adnan Yanis cry. Can we make Kelly cry? It's now with Cotisau. 2-0. Felipe Cruz assist. Oh, the Portuguese link-up is just what you want. That is absolutely Lindo from two Lindo gentlemen. What you love to see. Aaron Hickey on the left-hand side. He put it across. His uh, Armando shot was blocked. Xander Clark was going for a lie down. He couldn't quite get himself sorted. But, you know, who cares? No keeper would save that. Great finish from Consisau. We're singing. We're dancing. We're singing. We're dancing. We're buzzing. What the f are you doing? It's still 0-0 in the other game and now we're played and we're 2-0 up. There's a highlight though. Xander Clark, will he give it away again? I hope so. Aitchison nods it down to Russ. Oh dear, oh dear. Kilty in behind. What a hit that was. Over the bar though as Daniel Batty comes on, not Sean Batty. No matter how many times I will say that joke, I will just keep doing it no matter how many times it totals up. We're still winning. 20 minutes to go. Celtic still drawing. Ideal. About to make a couple changes as Kilty absolutely hammers it up the park. Felipe Cruz collects. Dilly dallying a little bit, Felipe. But he finds Nicholas Figal. I could have taken him Miazga for this game. I probably should have done that, but I didn't think of it. Consasau now. But, you know, it's good. We're keeping a winning formula. I made two changes. I'm just lying. It's Hickey now, though. In. Felipe Cruz in the edge area. Felipe Cruz balloons it over the bar. Changes time. What will we do? Let's have a look. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Who's tired? Consasau, tired. Bass General, party time. And ooh, who out of there can we really take off? I might take off Scott McKenna. He's played a lot of football. And then Ginger Legend comes on as well. Against his former club. What more can you want? Xander Clark though. 15 minutes to go. And he gives it away, the Basque General. Let's get the Basque General involved. Go on, Inigo, the main man. After we went to uh, his homeland last time, the Basque country, and absolutely destroyed Real Sociedad, despite my confusion. Destroyed that like we didn't win 2-1 and, you know, go through 2-2 on aggregate. Thanks to away goals. Kilty's in behind, though. Good save. And Russ scores, of all people. Don't know who Russ is. You're a donut! Um, oh dear, I'm sort of panicking now. Now I'm panicking! I might need to change things up and go a bit more defensive. I might do so. Oh, that was sort of a sucker punch there. It was a good ball. Greg Kilty in behind. His shot was saved. And Russ tapped it in, as I suspected. Damn you, Russ. I uh, hate you as much as Yanis. I. Ooh, you're hard, showing off. I honestly couldn't tell you why Yanis Ice becomes such a villain, but nevertheless, McCrory's dropping in front of the back four, Bro Proper comes off, Barron in there alongside Dean Campbell in the deep line play playmaker defensive role, we're telling them to keep the ball a bit shorter, we're telling them to waste time actually as well, don't run out of defence and regroup and drop a bit deeper as well, let's hope we can hold on. There is five minutes to go, I've just demanded more, as things stand we win the league today, 0-0 between Celtic and Rangers, hold on, hold on, hold on, we've done it, yeah! Yes, I've not even got my trophy, I'll get it in a minute. We've won the league. That is superb stuff. I am absolutely buzzing with that. That's one from the treble in the last dance. Let's go and get the other two later on. Come on. Well deserved. Beautiful. I am buzzing. And there is the confirmation on screen that we are champions. And here is the Scottish Premiership trophy. We have won it in our last ever season. That's the first step towards the treble. But the Scottish Premiership three-peat has been completed. I'm buzzing. Let's go, baby. I hope you've got the same energy as me. If not, I'm going to look like an absolute tit. Let's not pretend I don't look like one most of the time anyway. And they've still not spelled my name right. Nothing's changed on that front either. You fucking donkey. We have no time to rest on our laurels, though, and enjoy that success. We've done it. We've celebrated. We're straight on to the Wolfsburg game. The second leg, we've got to go and win this to be in with a chance of winning the Euro Cup. Europa League to add another star to the badge and the team that we're going with is exactly the same as the last game apart from if Ferguson comes in for Campbell we're sticking with Figal at the back let's just do it let's do it do it and by the looks of things I think Wolfsburg will line up in a similar manner apart from Weston McKenney's in there in centre half I don't think he was there before and that's reminded me I need to make sure that we um drop a bit deeper because Morgan Rogers was getting in a lot a lot, a lot. So I'm going to do that now. Before we even start making tactical changes, that is not usually a good start. But oh well, here we are. And we are now 
underway. I'm not bothering with the press conference. We're there. We're going at Kingsford. This is all a big mess, but you know you're going to see it. You know that much because all of my videos are an absolute mess. Wes McKinney's in a book early on. These are now upside down. They were the other way around before. And they've got set piece. We've headed off the line. No, no. We've punched it down. And Nicholas Figal's the man. I should have gone with Ryan Porteous. Why would you not head that ball? And a chance for them to cancel out the away goal immediately. Lukeman, it's a save by Montipo. Our luck just gets better and better. I don't know how we do it. It's not luck, actually. We're just fucking amazing. Uh, I'll bleep that because that was a bad swear. They've headed over. It's a bad swear, but not as bad as that header and that penalty. Get it right round you. Ooh, hard man. Felipe Cruz has got a set piece in 25 minutes on the clock. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Uh, it's Felipe Cruz on the right-hand side. I'm all over the shop. They head clear. Ferguson, Dirk Proper. Ah, oh, Ferguson's shot blocked. It's now with Ross McCurry. Obviously scored in the last game. Did he? Yeah, he did. Uh, Weston McKenney. No, Scott McKenna. I'm getting them confused now. Oh, dear. He's American. He's Dennis Robin, but he's not Weston McKenney. That's what it is. Conta Sao now. And Armando should have buried that as well, mate. Oh, dear. Ab Abdul Qadir. Oh, no. He's been scythed down by Aaron Hickey. That was an absolutely filthy challenge. And our task has just got even harder. That's what she said. <laughs> but never, ever, ever fear. We're going to keep uh, Ferguson and McCrory in there. They're very, very solid. We're taking off Dirk Proper. And the ginger legend is here. Okay. Half an hour on the clock. Thanks, Aaron Hickey, for ruining my fun. This is a very, very tough task. But we've got a set piece. Contest outputs in. McKenna! McKenna! 1-0 we lead on the night. Who cares? We don't even need 11 men. Aaron Hickey can just go out. Tell you what, mate. Just go and do a champagne run. Because we're winning it all. What a ball in that was. And McKenna in the near post. Nods it home like an absolute mad Dennis Rodman man. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does. It's now with Figal. It's into Scott McKenna. It's now back to Montipo. I'm all over the shop, honestly. I am. It's Figal now. Into Scott McKenna. Now back with Montipo. I'm just saying who's on the ball. This is no use because I'm quite stressed about this pissing about at the back. And that is why we've given it away. Gelhards now. No, no, no. Getting at half-time leading. Ferguson nicks in. Come on now. You've got Armando ahead of you. He looks to find him. He doesn't know. And it's cut out. Sharpen. He goes long this time and finds a man. Adamola Lukeman. Press him. Press him. Armando. He's in. Bury it, Armando. Armando does bury it. Oh, we're 2-0 up. And we've got an away goal. They've got none. And that is before half time with 10 men. Armando's 21st goal of the season. I was so convinced that he was going to be a flop. But that stat says otherwise. What a man. Great finish from the big Brazilian. It's prime R9 Ronaldo, I'm telling you. Armand goal. Previously. Bloody finish those chances. We paid 13 million quid for you or whatever it was. You've got to bury them, mate. I'm not paying 13 quid. Uh, uh, uh. LOL. A set piece just before half time though. Abdul Qadir fires it in. McKenney's offside, is he? No, it's not McKenney. It's Udo Kai. Sorry about that. Ah, no. Okay, the own goal is... No, the away goal is cancelled out. And that was a big header from Udo Kai. Oh, dear. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Um, ah, God. It's half time. It's 2-1. It's on a knife edge here. It's on a knife edge. I'm very worried. I'm telling them to be a bit more disciplined, actually. And just keep the ball a bit shorter. Don't do anything stupid, Dons. The second half is underway. Lukeman's having a stinker. Morgan Rogers having a stinker. Obviously, played well in the first leg. Let's please hold on to this. Oh no, a set piece though, it's in, and Udukai heads over, obviously he scored earlier, you know that, it was about 30 seconds ago in video time, oh uh, god, half an hour to go, I don't even know who we're playing in the final if we get there, don't talk about that sort of stuff, it would be Benfica, Jonathan's former club, many of our players former club, Felipe Cruz's former club, time is just going away though, let's tighten things up a little, we're wasting time now I tell you, and regrouping when we lose the ball, that's what we'll do for now. Um, and we'll keep some subs for wasting time. Ten minutes to go. We've got a corner. No, we don't. They've got a throw in though. It's Kamara onto Abdul Qadir. If they score now, it's in just about Tate's. It's shot wide. Oh dear. The tempo and range of passing is going down even more. We're wasting time even more. We're not even going to run at defence, and we're going to hold shape and slow the pace down as well. We're going to put on Ryan Edmonton as a pressing forward on the defend row. Try and hold on, Don's cautious mentality for now. Five minutes to go. Benfica are now 3-0 up against Ajax. It will be an Aberdeen-Benfica final if we get there. Have I spoken too soon? One more change. Bardi Key comes on. Just waste that time, Dons. We're in added time and 
Also, we are in the final of the Europa League. We've got we've won the Scottish Premiership today, as you can see here. I'm going to have to get another trophy for the Europa League if we win it. And we've got the Scottish Cup final to go, which is against QPR. It's not against QPR, it's against Queen's Park. It'd be weird if QPR were in it there from England. Cheers, Jeff. And I'll tell you what, since there's so little time before Football Manager 2021, we're not going to see anyone in the league. We've won it, we've seen the ceremony, and I've got the trophy. There's no need to see it. So, we will be back with two separate episodes cup final specials this is going out on the friday this one we're watching just now you're watching i'm not watching i'm making it currently and um, not currently now though oh this is very confusing but anyway you will see the cup final against queen's park tomorrow it'll be on saturday and then you'll see the euro cup final on sunday so it's going to be Friday episode and then two cup final specials over the weekend before Football Manager, the beta, probably comes out the week after that. So if you're excited, please do smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you want to stick around for that and do it for that results today. I mean, come on, we've won the league and we're in the final of the Europa League. A chance to add another star. If you didn't enjoy the video though, please do hit this like, comment down below. Let me know how I can improve my videos. Let me know also though how you think we're going to get on in those. Are we going to get the treble in the last dance now? that we've got the Scottish Premiership 3 Pete. Thank you very, very much for watching all of you and take care.